Hello, it is I, the Games Reaper, and welcome to my review of the Super Game Boy. Now, this thing back in the day when it came out in 1994, it was an absolute revelation for gamers all around the world, simply because you could play your original Game Boy games and even certain Game Boy Color games, as in those dual uh, Game Boy Color games that would work on the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. As for the Game Boy Color exclusive games, unfortunately they do not work on this thing, so you've got to be careful, right? And uh, yeah, uh, these things are quite expensive, but you can buy them now between £30 and £40 pounds in really, really good condition, and even boxed as well. And you could do all sorts of things with it, like change the frames around the game, and there was all sorts of options and that, and uh, you could even change the colour inside of the game itself which was really, really good, and, and Game Boy games that ran on this thing ran a little bit faster than they did on the original hardware, and also the sprites were bigger, and it was just a joy to be able to sit back, relax, and play your original Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games on the big screen, folks, and uh, yeah, it's a fantastic accessory, quite possibly the best accessory you can buy for the Super Nintendo. It's very, very similar to the um, to the accessories that came out for the Sega Master System and the Sega Mega Drive, which allowed you to play uh, Master System games on the Mega Drive, and I think it was uh, Master System games on the Sega Game Gear as well. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that now, but yeah. It's not unique, but this is certainly one of the best done uh, game adapters of its type. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It goes above and beyond. But anyway, I think I've spoken enough about it now. Let's get on some gameplay footage. Don't mind these two. Probably just join me. Okay. <laughs> right. So let's do this. What I'm going to have to do is turn this around. Here we are. No, I still do, do, do not have my Kindle Fire 8. Um, I am working on it, folks, but I'm not made of money. I have got money, actually, but um, it's for other things, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that will do. Right. Just to show you, this is what happens when you switch it on without a cartridge in. So you don't want to be doing that. Right, now I'll show you what happens when you try and put a Game Boy Colour game in. That's only for the Game Boy Colour. Unless it's one of those dual Game Boy Colour games which can work on the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Colour, then you're going to be in trouble. At first, everything seems like all's fine with the world, and then, yeah, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. This game pack will only work with the Game Boy Color video game system. So if you are planning on playing Game Boy Color games on this thing, make sure it's the right cartridge, right? Now, I don't actually have any non-Game Boy Color exclusive games, so I'm going to show you this 181 multi-cart which I've done a review on, by the way. This only has Game Boy Color games in it, and most of them work really, really well. Although I did try Pokemon Crystal, and that froze like crazy. Pokemon Gold is a bit hit and miss. So, yeah, you've got to be careful. I'm going to try a little bit of Pokemon Blue. Why not? Here we are. Yep, 
Yeah, these Game Boy Color games, or should I say the Pokemon games on the Game Boy Color were, my God, they were so successful back in the day. I was never really into the Pokemon games, although I did like the idea of playing Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo 64, but I never really got around to it. I did, however, collect those Pokemon cards. Don't judge me, but I absolutely love those things, and many of them are worth quite a bit of money now on eBay. Anyway, that's enough of this game. I'll show you one more. And then I'll be showing you two original Game Boy games which work beautifully on this thing. And then that'll be it. Right, so... Casper. I remember playing Casper on the PlayStation 1. It was a bit of a mediocre game. It was one of those games that I bought back in town when I was a kid because there was nothing better to buy at the time. You know what? I'm going to play some Mega Man. Mega Man 3. Ah, I see, even on this multi-card, so you can use this feature. Now, this is interesting. Here you can change the colour of the game. You get the idea. You can fiddle with this thing until your heart's content. It's almost completely limitless. It appears to be infinite, the amount of different colours you can have. But I like to stick with the original anyway. And here you can change the actual frame around the game itself. Yes, as I said earlier on, these things were a big deal back in the day because these original Game Boy games and many Game Boy Color games that could be played on the Super Game Boy, uh, it was an absolute revelation. Ah, no, I love this one. You see that wood log house in the background and that big tree? Beautiful. Right. And these are all the different frames that you can get. And because I've showed it you on this multicolor, I'm not going to bother showing the same thing for Super Mario Land or uh, Kirby's Dream Land. Right. Here you can change your control scheme. I've got no interest in that whatsoever. Here you could mix your colours and choose the exact colour you wanted for the game. I'm not really going to go into it here because I actually want to show you some gameplay footage of Mega Man 3. Right, so that's about it. I don't know exactly how this works, to be honest. Anyway, <laughs> I don't have the instruction manual for this and neither do I have the original box. Now, I would recommend you getting a boxed copy of the Super Game Boy, unlike me, right? Anyway, you press these two shoulder buttons like that to get it up. Again, to get it on. Do it again to get it off. Yes, this is without a shadow of, the, of a doubt one of the best Super Nintendo accessories that you can buy and I would seriously buy them whilst they're still cheap. I saw one on eBay earlier on for about 30 to 40 pounds and it was boxed as well, you know, so yeah, definitely. Oh, Mega Man was never easy.
what makes Mega Man quite annoying is that if you were to fall to your death, which is highly likely, the enemies actually respawn. And you had to time your jumps just right. Oh. I'm dead. Anywho. Super Mario Land. Now this is a great example of how an original Game Boy game can be made so much better. You'll see that there are colours on the screen, it plays faster, everything's better, and even the platforming is made a little bit easier thanks to the fact that the, that the Mario sprite is bigger. Has this crashed? I think it has. What I'm going to have to do is buy some more rubbing alcohol and go over this Super Game Boy good and proper on the inside and also my cartridges as well. Here we are. As you can see, it plays very, very smoothly. It's just a, such a joy to play on the big screen. I would recommend playing Super Mario Land simply because it introduced to us Princess Daisy and it had a load of enemies that were never shown again in any of the other Mario games. It's such a classic game this is. In fact without this we wouldn't have Super Mario 64, we wouldn't have uh, Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch. This is the one that started it all folks. And yes, I would describe Super Mario Land on the Game Boy a masterpiece, especially when it's being played on the Super Game Boy. The platforming is just so much fun, it's so tight, and it's just absolutely timeless, and it's a great way of introducing your children to the world of gaming. Right, so... Yeah, Super Mario Land is one of those games, it's not huge, it's not, I mean it can be completed in around an hour for most people, some people might take a little bit over an hour, a lot of speedrunners might be able to do it in 20-30 minutes, I don't know, but, it's, um, but definitely it's a far, far superior experience when you're playing it on the Super Game Boy. Something else as well is that when you do game reviews for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, this is a great way of doing it. Because instead of just recording a tiny little screen, you can actually record footage on your TV, see? It's great. Anyway. Here we are. So as you can see, this thing gives original Game Boy games a new lease of life. Right, Kirby's Dreamland. Of course, I'm still under threat by Kirby himself. I don't know how much longer this is going to carry on for, but... I have no choice, so here we are. In fact, the only reason why I was able to do this video is because I made an agreement with him that if I showed Kirby's Dreamland in it, then I'd be able to do it. So here goes nothing. Ah, here we are. Beautiful. Right, let's do this. This is the original Kirby's Dreamland, a very child-friendly platformer. It has next to no challenge in it whatsoever, apart from the boss fights. The, the platforming feels nice and tight. It's a joy to play. Obviously, Kirby's Dreamland 3 is far superior thanks to the better graphics. 
is a much, much bigger game than this, and there's far more enemy variety. And you can, of course, um, copy your enemies' abilities in Kirby Streamland 3. I think you can do that in this one as well. I'm not 100% certain about that one. As usual, Kirby is killing perfectly innocent animals because they're all evil in his eyes and basically he's a tyrant, that's what he is. What's that, Kirby? You're not a tyrant. You're just ridding the world of... Okay, okay, we went over this the other day. It's getting boring. Don't blame me. You, you should think of new things to say for my uh, YouTube viewers, Kirby. I suppose you're right. That's my responsibility. Yeah, anyway, the uh, boss fights do get harder as you go through. Just in case somebody watching this video out there wants to see some more footage of the options that you can do with the Super Game Boy adapter, I'll show you just before I get to the end of the video. Ah, here we are. I died. Anyway. Yeah, so if for some reason you want to change the colour of the game, you can do it. That looks like the original Game Boy. What I would do, however, is just keep it as is. If I can get it there again. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so... Keep it like that for now. Yes, yeah, so to reiterate what I said earlier on, it's, this is definitely one of the best Super Nintendo accessories you can buy. Absolutely. I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be like a desert or chipboard or what, but... Yeah, out of all these frames, this is one of my favourites. Along with this one here. Great, so... If you're serious about Game Boy and Game Boy Colour games, then definitely check this out, folks. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.